What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Kiss Him, Not Me. Now, this episode is an episode I personally have been kind of interested in wanting to see since I first started this series. Because you all remember what I said in the first two episode reviews I did. I said that regardless of how majority of the main male characters are starting to fall in love with our main female character, it doesn't give them a right to treat someone like shit. It doesn't. And I talked about this quite a bit in about the first episode and the second episode. And with this episode, this is something I've been waiting for since the series first started. To see what would happen if our main female character was to revert and go back to kind of being slightly chubby. And not being the pretty girl she was throughout episode 2 to this episode. So... I was curious to see what the interaction would be with the said characters that supposedly fell in love with her after she became beautiful. And what we saw was something that really, really makes me hate more certain characters even more, but also respect some other characters even more than I already did. For one, Senpai. As a character, I respect that man so much more than I already did, because the way he actually cared about the main female character he's like yeah she's a little bit chubby and all that but still the same person same personality i respect him I, I really respect that man quite a bit but also nishina as a female character i respect her with how she was being really really nice to our main female character even after she became a little bit chubby you had to where she's being very nice she's treating her like a human being not treating her like a a fucking, you know, piece of shit, someone that doesn't even exist or is not a human being, Nishina was actually treating our main female character at, with some common decency. Now, you have some of the other characters that were shown that, honestly, were completely shocked with the way she looked. And to be real here, yes, you would be shocked if you saw a change in appearance like that. I mean, that drastic of appearance. Like, for instance, if you saw this character or this person in real life that was very beautiful, but all of a sudden, maybe like a month passed, because, you know, we know weight loss and weight gain doesn't work like that. Like, a month or two passes, and when you see how they put on some weight, that would completely shock you. would be like, whoa, what the fuck happened? And they're honest reaction it makes sense I, i'm not really faulting them for being like kind of shocked about the way she looked however we got to see how they would react to our main female character if she became you know kind of chunky once again and their overall reaction was something that needed to be answered so as we all know as i kind of pinned it all together they all fell in love with the main female character because of her looks it wasn't because of her personality now a looks is a bonus yes looks are a part of it yes to go out with someone or love someone but deep down though it also is personality mainly that's the big thing that drives someone when it comes to falling in love and we got to see how some of these characters that you know have been a part of her harem this reverse harem and see how they would react to her if she wasn't you know beautiful but she was chunky how she was in the first episode and their reaction to her proved that they're mainly in it for her looks instead of her personality. Now, once again, I want to go and say that, yes, looks do have a role to play when it comes to a relationship. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But, however, the way they fell in love with her is not true love. They don't have true love with her at all. If you truly loved a person, you would love them for everything. And you clearly saw that they really didn't. They had this false love, this love that really didn't stick. I mean, the way they, you know, reacted towards her and the way they were kind of just creeped out or whatever. You just got to see this the way they carried themselves throughout the episode. And only certain characters really stood out that really showed that they actually cared for her. For instance, Senpai, he showed that he was a very good person deep down. And he actually does love her for who she is. He wasn't relatively shocked at all. Like, he wasn't shocked. He was completely fine with it. If you know, you have Nishina, which at the same time, she was actually respecting her wishes treating her with kindness still cared about her quite a bit so we also see that throughout this episode how much she cares for her and then we saw Igarashi which as a character he's someone that isn't one of those main male characters of the series so far that I really dislike because his starting point in the series of Kiss Him Not Me it wasn't as bad as the other male characters I mean he's not as good as the senpai but he was in a better spot because he at the very least was trying to you know treat the main female character with some and decency in the first episode even though he could have helped a little bit more he still tried to be nice so he deep down he is a good person but still at the end of the day he did fall in love with her because of her looks and in this episode it kind of focuses on him trying to realize well, how does he truly love her like does he love her just for her looks or does he love her for everything 
And throughout the episode, he falls in love with her once again, which concretes the point that, that he did fall in love with her thanks to her appearance, and it wasn't actually because of her personality. But after getting to meet her, after getting to see how she really interacts with everybody, he's kind of started to fall in love with her. And then when he saw her other side to when she's kind of chubby, but also he got to see how she, you know, still cares, how she really tries her hardest, and, you know, she's still the same person you see how he fell in love with her once again. So this episode, in a way, was kind of letting us see Igarashi in a better light. Not looking at him as if he was an asshole and judging her based on her appearance and not treating her nice, but it was in a way to kind of give him some redemption. Him to kind of correct his wrongs and his mistakes with what he has done. Now, when it comes to the other characters, like I said, we once again got to see how bad they are. For instance, how they really treat our main female character. Just complete assholes. Like, straight up assholes in this episode and I do hope once again they get some form of development or something or this is you know confronted once again for route kiss him not me because this is a big topic of debate I mean I don't want our main female character getting with someone that just straight up wanted to go out with her be with her because of her looks I mean yes like I said looks are a thing but if you only care about the looks you don't care about the personality that just shows that that love's not going to work. That love will not work out at all. You have to have a compatible personality, and you, I guess looks do matter too. So overall, just the way they were interacting with her through this episode, I, I like the direction it went, and I would like to see more of this in the future of Kiss Him, Not Me. So I want to ask right now, how does everybody feel about this episode? Did you enjoy this episode? Did you hate this episode? Do you feel like this episode went a little bit too far? Or do you agree with this episode and what it tried to do? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below. You'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.